Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the July patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 is now rolling out, KB5015814, which Microsoft started making available on the 12th of July, which was yesterday in my region. And because the patch Tuesday updates are security updates, there will be compulsory mandatory updates, which will be installed automatically onto your device. So once the update has been installed and applied, your OS build now for Windows 11 version 21H2 will be bumped up to 22,000.795, which is now the latest stable release after applying this update. Now, although the update is a security update, as mentioned, it will include, as many of you know, uh, most of the improvements and fixes that were rolled out with last month's KB5014668 optional bug fix C release update, which rolled out near the end of June. And just to mention some of those improvements, um, which rolled out in that update, which are now included in this patch Tuesday update, um, it addressed an issue that was preventing some users from upgrading to Windows 11. And then the key highlight would be the new search highlights, which started rolling out and is now becoming more widely available which presents notable and interesting moments of what's special about each day. And I will leave a link to that 5014668 re, uh, optional up, update video in the, in the description, just so you can find out some more information in case you missed that one. And over and above that, it has a very important Wi-Fi hotspot, hotspot fix, um, game crash fixes, and numerous other fixes and bug fixes. So those will be included now in KB5015814. Now, over and above the security update and all the security f improvements that have rolled out with this latest patch Tuesday update, um, it also addresses a PowerShell issue, which I did uh, mention in my Windows 10 video I posted a short while ago. And the issue um, was an issue with PowerShell that uh, redirected the PowerShell command output so that the transcript logs uh, did not contain any output of the command and consequently the decrypted password was lost. So that issue in PowerShell has also been addressed now with this latest Patch Tuesday update. And as always, if you'd like to see, if you have the update, we just head to the settings menu, head over to Windows Update, and um, as mentioned, the update will be installed automatically. And if you are interested, it will be listed under Update History after your device has restarted. Cumulative update for Windows 11, KB5015814. And you can also click on Learn More, uh, which will take you to the release notes if you'd like to get some more information. Now, as mentioned, it is a security update and does include um, important security fixes to the Windows 11 operating system. 42 vulnerabilities have been patched in total. 40 are important and two of those are critical, which is your highest rated and ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update. And the two critical updates were exactly the same um, uh, fixes that rolled out for Windows 10, which were the first was a remote procedure call runtime remote code execution vulnerability. And the second was a Windows graphics component remote code execution vulnerability. So both of those critical vulnerabilities have been addressed, including 42 vulnerabilities in total. And if you are having any issues uh, installing the update, uh, through the Windows Update process. As I do mention, you can always head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog, enter the KB, and just find your version of Windows 11, and you can download and manually install the update if you are having any issues um, with installing the update through the update process on your Windows 11 device. And then as mentioned, um, the KB5014668, all those improvements and fixes, including the search highlights, uh, should become more widely available now and will be rolling out with update KB5015814, which is this month, July 2022's Patch Tuesday update. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.